Hey, good morning. So I'm here in the parking lot of Sam's Club for the second day in a row. Now, last night I was here after running a full day of errands, uh, sitting at the car dealership, waiting on my truck to get serviced. And by the time I got to Sam's Club last night, I was pretty beat and pretty tired. So I went in, did all my shopping, uh, came outside, started unloading my basket. Uh, let me digress real quick, I forgot to tell you. I use Scan and Go at Sam's Club, uh, which is an app on my phone that allows me to scan everything in my basket and pay for it and never have to go to a register. All I do is show the girl at the door uh, a little QR code, she scans it, and I'm out of there. So anyway, I get to the parking lot and I'm unloading my stuff and about halfway through unloading uh, my basket into my car, I find an item that was never scanned. I didn't scan it. So, uh, being an honest person, uh, as as God has called us to be, and being a Christian, uh, I have always been honest uh, uh, without exception. I've, I've always made sure that I paid for everything, taking stuff back into a store if uh, something didn't get rung up, making sure I got the correct change and not more than I'm supposed to. Uh, but when I found this, I became flustered that I had made this this error. Uh, so I logged back into Scan and Go and scanned uh, the product that wasn't paid for and was able to pay for it in the parking lot. Well, I was so flustered, I got in my truck and drove off, headed home. Now, when I got home and I was unloading the truck, I thought, man, sure seems like I bought more stuff. And then I got inside and I was looking at what I bought and. I was like, where are my apples? So I went and searched the truck, no apples. And then I thought, wait a minute, there's more things that I'm missing. So I brought up my receipt on my phone and was looking at the items that I bought. And of course, turned out I'd left half the buggy sitting in the parking lot at, at Sam's Club. So I called them and uh, the young lady that answered the phone, I guess at the service desk, uh, took the time to go out into the parking lot and see if my buggy was still there. Uh, luckily, it was, and she brought it in and told me she had it and that I could come pick it up at any time. So I came up this morning to pick it up, and I just thought I would share that story with you because uh, being honest is so important, uh, not only as a Christian, but in society. If we can't be honest with one another, uh, if we can't be honest in our transactions uh, with businesses, if we can't be honest with our employers or our employees, if we can't be honest with our own family, uh, then what, what do we have at the end? What do we have at the end of being dishonest? Well, it seems to me that there truly is but one choice for Christians, and that choice is to be honest, make sure that you are so in all of your dealings, uh, and that includes being honest with God. So often, we think that we can sneak around behind God's back and He won't know what we're doing. But God knows everything. He knows everything before it happens. So sneaking around and, and thinking that you just pulled one over on God uh, is really your own false narrative. You've created a narrative that you can get by on God. You can sneak around and do things, but we can't. We all know we can. So I just wanted to share that story and, and I hope that it, it helps remind you of the importance of honesty. There are so many things that happen each day in our lives that uh, we're given the opportunity to literally be dishonest, but we have to make a choice. That's why God gave us free will. We have to make a choice to do what is right in everything we do here on earth. 
Thanks for being with me this morning and listening to this story. Uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, the little thumbs up, and hit the bell button as well to be notified of all of our new content when it hits uh, both the website and YouTube and Rumble now. Uh, thanks for being with us and God bless you all.